What's going on Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Super video, where today we're going to be clearing up a lot of misconceptions involving spoilers and supposed leaked images for Dragon Ball Super that have been going around in the community not just here on YouTube, but also Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, alongside various different websites in which I will show you guys here today. Now I've been bombarded with questions by tons of people having to DM me on various different platforms asking me if certain things were real or fake that they were either told by or of course found on different pages and throughout the duration of this video I will be showing you all different examples of what is not presented as confirmation for Dragon Ball Super that has been going around in the community within the last couple of days and it doesn't really surprise me because this thing tends to happen almost every single day whenever something new drops for Dragon Ball Super whether it involves spoilers or some sort of leaked image for the actual episode we tend to have people hop on Photoshop and create some really stupid things and which dupe a lot of people within different sectors of the community involving Facebook or even Instagram and right now I'm going to be presenting evidence as to what is real and what is fake that way for those of you that have been fooled in believing that certain spoilers or certain leaked images were real you guys would then have a better understanding as to how to approach certain situations and understanding that certain spoilers are real and certain spoilers are fake and if by some chance I end up hurting your feelings in this video by laying the truth on you then to that I say oh well because this message is not for anyone who is intelligent in nature to understand and separate real from fake but for those whose IQ is equivalent to that of a tomato can now just for a quick reminder for those of you that are new don't forget to go in ahead and smash that subscribe button if you guys are new to this channel and enable all notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever a new video is posted onto the channel for Dragon Ball Super news information and updates that is real hashtag Dragon Ball squad to be up to date with all the latest in Dragon Ball now if you guys remember a few months back I would have to say sometime around August or September we had fake spoilers for Dragon Ball Super episode 115 116 117 118 and 119 that depicted Goku having to be wrung out Jiren having to fight Vegeta with of course all that nonsense having to be cleared up in my previous video alongside the secondary spoilers in which depicted Frieza having to fight Jiren and all sorts of nonsense involving Ultra Instinct Goku now as you guys can see on screen the exact Exact spoilers in which we have covered and told everyone in our previous video that were obviously fake we have people going around on Facebook we have people going around on Instagram either portraying this as being confirmation or of course asking the question if in fact this is real or not so I'm gonna say it once more because we have official spoilers in which cover Dragon Ball Super episode 116 117 and 118 and nowhere does it even mention Frieza having to use his golden form in fighting Jiren alongside the concept of Topo having to be wrung out by Frieza. All of that in which I have discussed in my previous video are fake so just to clear that up these spoilers are not real and what does this have to do with today? Well with the new spoilers having to be revealed depicting accurate information someone is going around on Instagram posting fake spoilers of Dragon Ball Super episode 119 and Dragon Ball Super episode 120 and the descriptions and bullshit title go as follows Dragon Ball Super episode 119 tragedy strikes closing in on the vanishing universe which the title is correct however the depiction goes as follows Goku struggles to recover from using ultra instinct against his battle with fused Kefla which they spelled Kefla wrong Kefla dismisses son Goku as she turns her attention fully towards Jiren who waits for his next opponent Rebrian attacks son Goku in a final act number 17 saves Goku by defeating Universe 2. Again, the official description for the accurate title of Dragon Ball Super Episode 119 has not been fully disclosed yet. So anyone out there who is portraying or putting out spoilers for Episode 119 is fooling you into believing this is the actual description when in fact we have no actual description. As we go into Dragon Ball Super Episode 120, as the bullshit title reads, Awaken the Mightiest Warrior, Jiren's Inconceivable Energy, as the bullshit description goes as follows. Jiren awakens and faces off against Kefla. Kefla powers up to unbelievable levels, but is no match for Jiren's power. Jiren reveals one third of his power, which is weird because actual scans and translations never reveal how much power a character is using, especially in having to say one third or two thirds of someone's power. That's just ridiculous. Which results in Kefla to de 
defuse, Jiren moves in, but then dot dot dot, and I can fill out the rest and saying, but then it is bullshit because this is not real. So for anyone out there who is questioning or wondering if Kefla is going to be fighting Jiren, that is not confirmed. Kefla having to defuse, that is not confirmed. Jiren having to do anything aside from pay attention to Goku in the upcoming episodes is completely in the wrong for those who are putting out information and saying that he's going to fight and put his power in usage. So anyone out there who is falling for this on Instagram, on Facebook, to that I would say do not fall for these spoilers. It's happened numerous of times and of course now we have people going around pretending that they are Yonko Productions or Herms 98 or even Ken Zyro in which if you want accurate information those are the guys that not only put out scans but also put out the translations for these episodes and if you don't see it from them and if you end up seeing spoilers on various different websites or someone's Instagram or someone else's Twitter or even Facebook that's been portrayed by some squirrel loving fish fucking idiot who lives in the sewer with some sort of internet connection then it is not real so for those who have been begging for me to cover these alleged spoilers obviously enough if it didn't come from Yonko if it didn't come from Herms then the information is inaccurate and it is fake now speaking of real and fake yesterday we had an official scan leaked by Yonko Productions which happens to involve Ultra Instinct Goku now as you guys can see on screen this is the official image for Dragon Ball Super episode 116 of course this was put out by Yonko Productions by of course Herms so in case you guys were wondering this is obviously straight from the episode this is something that we are going to see going into next week's episode however with that being said we also got supposed leaked images of kefla having to fight goku in which i'm going to present to you right now the first image chuckles me because number one you have to ask yourself how in the world or why in the world would goku revert back into using super saiyan 3 after using super saiyan god to fight kefla that is the most ridiculous thing that i've ever seen and of course this is has been going around you know within the last couple of days suggesting that we're going to see Super Saiyan 3 Goku fight Kefla which of course this is fake now I do have to give props for those who photoshopped this because it looks pretty cool in nature but of course I don't know if you guys can smell what I'm smelling but I smell bullshit so in case you guys were wondering if this was real or fake for those of you who have an IQ of a tomato can this is obviously fake Goku is not going to be using Super Saiyan 3 nor is there any need for him to do that especially now since we already know based on real information that he's going to be using Super Saiyan Blue and of course Kaioken there is no need for Goku to revert back and using Super Saiyan 3 now this image is obviously fake going into the second image in which as you guys can see we see Super Saiyan Goku having to fight base form Kefla again with the stupid timer on the upper left hand corner people bought this as being real again this begs the question why would Goku revert back into using Super Saiyan 2 or even regular Super Saiyan when in fact as of this very point Goku is using Super Saiyan God? This has been floating around and of course with that stupid timestamp on top people think it's actually real when in fact it's not. So you're telling me that this actual scene is supposedly going to happen right as the episode ends it doesn't make any sense again for those that were dming me and letting me know that goku's gonna revert back into super saiyan super saiyan 2 to fight kefla i'm sorry to say what you are obviously looking at is inaccurate information and speaking of fusion i actually addressed this in my previous video people were going around suggesting that other characters are going to fuse in one of which involved the androids i cleared this up in my previous video and I'm going to clear this up one more time Android 17 and Android 18 will not fuse in the tournament of power let alone using the Metamorese finger fusion in creating a brand new Android again is it possible yes it is because this is Dragon Ball Super thus far they've been catering to fan service and doing the impossible so let alone who's to say 
that this can or can't happen, but there is no proof, there is no scan, there is no hint within the episodes themselves that brother and sister 17 and 18 are going to combine powers in creating some sort of ultimate android. So for anyone out there who is suggesting and now wondering, since Kefla is now a fused fighter, that other fighters are going to fuse as well, that is inaccurate, that is fake, of course, this has been going around the community as it always was, as it always is, as being quote unquote confirmed or leaked when in fact it's not. Not. So just to put that out there, this is false information. In which, speaking of false information, we have yet another quote-unquote leaked image of Kefla having to fight Ultra Instinct Goku with that stupid timestamp on the top left-hand corner in which suggests that base form Kefla is going to fight Ultra Instinct Goku in the upcoming episode when in fact this is obviously fake. There is no supposed leaked image of Kefla having to fight Goku. There is no leaked image of Ultra Ultra Instinct Goku aside from the only image I have shown previous to this in which suggests that Goku is going to fight Kefla in that state of power. So in case you guys are wondering or have been seeing this floating around, this is inaccurate. Whoever posted this up is obviously clipping both the Ultra Instinct scene with Goku and Jiren and of course Kefla's debut into one. You can obviously tell based on the rocks, based on the environment that this is obviously fake. So again, if you guys are curious enough and wondering if this is real, this is actually false information. In which, once again, as you guys can see on screen, another fake quote-unquote leaked image going around in the community suggesting that Kefla had defeated Goku, with Golden Frieza having to step to Kefla after the result of Goku having to get put down, which of course, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that this is fake. This is actually straight from Instagram itself, as I saw thousands of likes and people having to, you know, talk about how awesome this is and how they can't wait for the upcoming episode and seeing Golden Frieza fight Kefla and this is what I'm talking about images like this going around where people are thinking this is actually real when it is not and of course we have the creditor of whoever made this having to put his name stamp on the top left hand corner and of course on the bottom obviously enough you can already tell that this is not going to happen Frieza is not involved in any way shape or form with the upcoming events involving Goku and Kefla so for those out there that are wondering that stop because there is no revealed information that has anything to do with Golden Frieza and Goku alongside Kefla as well. That, once again, is false information. And speaking of false information, we actually have various different websites like otakuverse.com in which is telling people definitively that Universe 6 will in fact be the next universe to be erased in the Tournament of Power. Now again, this website spews out loads of BS. There is no hint of this being some sort of a discussion or theory or speculative video, but more or less informing people that Universe 6 will in fact be destroyed when in fact we here on the intelligence side of the internet already know that there is no information being put out there that universe 6 is indefinitely going to be the universe in which will be destroyed and what's sad to say is this right here has over 66 likes one share people are going around and falsely believing that this is actually true when in fact it is not but i will say in the long run this could end up happening if of course we had more information to support the narrative that Universe 6, quote-unquote, will be the next universe to be destroyed. As we go into the next shot here, we have someone putting out an article on otakuart.com in which suggests that the secret behind Jiren's eyes are his weakness, and in which it says, reasons why Jiren can never lose, the secrets behind Jiren's eyes, which is a load of BS because there are no secrets behind his eyes. What kind of information was revealed to these people that hasn't been revealed to the general public in which suggests that his eyes are his weak points. Of course, as you guys can read the title, it says reasons why Jiren can never lose, in which again, as you guys can see the actual article, written by Samara or whoever this person is suggests ultimately that Jiren cannot be defeated. He is the most powerful warrior that even surpasses every single Hakaishin and even rivals that of an angel and which suggests in this stupid ass article that Jiren is going to win indefinitely which could happen but giving you every reason in the world why he can never lose and in fact he will close out the tournament as being the winner. Now for all we know Ultra Instinct Goku could be the one in which results in defeat 
defeating Jiren. We do not know, given the information now, that Dragon Ball Super's Tournament of Power is going to be extending itself into March of 2018, so we have a ways to go. So for someone out there to put out false reasons as to why Jiren can never lose and the secrets behind his eyes is inaccurate because there is no information given, especially within the anime itself and the manga coming up, that has anything to do with his eyeballs, so stop the BS. As we go into the next shot here, we see it says the struggle with Hakai energy could would be one of the reasons behind Goku's next level of power. Check this out and it says, Hakai triggered Ultra Instinct, Dragon Ball Super Otaku Art, which of course I will say this is baloney, this is fake, of course 315 people bought into this and in suggesting that Hakai, the same Hakai energy given by Seedra was the end result of Goku having to tap into Ultra Instinct, which again is far from the truth. We do have a brief explanation by Whis as to how this came to be with Goku versus Jiren, so the Hakai energy given by Seedra was by no means any sort of trigger into allowing Goku to discover this power, so again, this is a load of BS. As we go into the next shot here, it says Jiren is going to fight, spoiler, new Dragon Ball Super episode 116 spoilers, Jiren fights back, which again, it ought to be called Dragon Ball Super episode 116 bullshit spoilers, because Jiren is not involved in combat in any way, shape, or form. Again, this goes back to the beginning of the video, where people were making fake spoilers up, suggesting that Jiren is going to fight and of course this was actually liked by over 448 people in which believe the idea that Jiren is going to be in action against Kefla or Goku in the upcoming episodes which again it's fake don't be buying into these rinky dink websites that spew out BS, especially if it hadn't come from Herms, Yonko Productions, Ken Zyro, or any other credible Dragon Ball YouTuber who knows what the heck they're talking about because in no way, shape, or form is it confirmed that Jiren is going to fight back in Dragon Ball Super Episode 116. So you guys can kind of understand where I'm coming from here. The only time we actually have screenshots of the episode being revealed is normally Saturdays as that's the only given time when the actual episode itself is going to put out some screenshots as to what's going to happen. In terms of articles like this, you guys would already know, hopefully by now, Blasting News and Otaku Art, these websites are websites that put out false information, so make sure you guys stay as far away from that as possible. And of course, on certain Instagrams and certain Facebook pages, you guys might want to go on ahead and watch out for people confirming three to four Dragon Ball movies, confirming that Goku's going to defeat Jiren, confirming all loads of nonsense, so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. And of course, post your comments down below guys what are your overall thoughts on all this bs what are your overall thoughts as to what is going to occur in the future of dragon ball let alone to as to what we're seeing here thank you all so much for watching i really hope i cleared things up for some of you guys if you guys enjoyed make sure to go on ahead and slap a like down below if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to punch that subscribe button guys tune back in for more and i'll be seeing you all down the comment section below what a sad day take it easy guys peace